Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some great easy meals for beginners. So if you are new to eating a vegan, whole foods, plant-based diet, um, these meals are gonna be great for you. But let's be honest, these meals are pretty much great for everybody. So um, I hope you get to try them out. Now I will say this, they're also, even if you're not a beginner, they are so easy to just throw together that they are great to take on the road, um, to take with you to a restaurant. I've even taken a couple to the movie theater, and some of you are probably like, what? To the movie theater? You know, the movie theaters that like serve food. I just kinda make mine, throw it in a bag, don't say anything. You know, I just take it with me. And when the movie starts and my family gets their food, uh, whatever they order out, I just take mine out and dig in. And yeah, I wanna mention that because over on Instagram, you guys asked me quite a bit, um, what do I do when I go to a friend's house? You know, a friend that doesn't cook vegan, or what do I do when I go to a restaurant? Um, now, sometimes I do order a vegan option at a restaurant and I'll, you know, it's okay to have the oil um, at the restaurant. It's something that I don't do um, very frequently, so I'm okay with having oil every now and then at a restaurant. But sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I don't feel like doing that and I will bring a meal with me. A meal like this. Um, look how cute that is. Cute, compact, easy to throw in a bag, and delicious. So I, I wanted to do this video, again, not only for beginners, but for those of you who just feel kind of lost with leaving the house. You know, like, what do I do when I leave the house? Now what? Um, so this is what. You can do something super easy like this. Now, before I get on to showing you how to make these meals so quick and easy, I just wanna say hi to those of you who are new here. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you stick around. I release a video every Monday, and yeah. Say hi, I'd love to say hi back. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's get to making these meals, shall we? So for this first dish, I am going to start off by using this Asian-inspired chopped salad kit I picked up from Whole Foods. I'm not gonna be using the dressing inside um, or the croutons, but I just, we had it and I thought, hey, this is gonna be quick and easy. Now, if you can't find this where you are, you can just get some salad ingredients and chop them up yourself or another kind of uh, salad kit that might be easy for you. I'm using some frozen edamame and some whole wheat spaghetti. You can use any pasta that you like. I just always love whole wheat, so that's what I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and cook the pasta, which doesn't take very long. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna assemble this bowl, if you will. Now I'm using kind of a glass to go container or I'm not, it's, I guess it's not Tupperware, but I'm just going to call it that. Um, just to show you how you can just throw things in that and then go. So we're going to go ahead and put in our salad. I went ahead and steamed the edamame and now our pasta is ready and I'm just going to throw as much of that in there as I can. And then when I'm done putting that in there, I'm just going to top it with low sodium tamari. And then you know I love that squeezable tahini. We're going to be putting a little bit of that on there. And then we are done. Oh, and you know, if you want to take a little bit of the croutons, or this is the wontons that came with this, um, you know, put that on top. It's not going to be a big deal. But look how much food this is to take with you on the go or to have as a meal. It's so quick and easy to make. And, you know, sometimes at home, if I'm making it, I just throw it all in a bowl and eat it. So for this meal, I'm just taking some frozen broccoli florets and some frozen rice. Anytime I can get my hands on frozen things, I'm buying it. I'm also getting um, some firm tofu 
and I'm just gonna start throwing things in the bowl. I'm putting the frozen rice and the frozen broccoli in there together, and then I'm cool with using a microwave, so I'm just gonna throw that in there and defrost everything really well. And then while that's defrosting, I'm gonna take the tofu out, um, press it, you know, get all of the liquid out of it, and then cut it up into cubes. You can cut this any way you want. I pretty much love to always cut it <laughs> in cubes. Then we're gonna kinda do a quick little marinade on here. I'm putting, again, low sodium soy sauce on this, and then I love to also add in nutritional yeast. I just find the two combo, the combo of those two give this a really good flavor. I'm just gonna throw this in the oven for about five minutes. I'm gonna broil it. If you broil it, keep an eye on it. Um, but for me, five minutes is fine. And then once that's done, I'm taking everything out of the microwave and I'm putting in my delicious tofu. And then we're gonna be adding this sweet red chili sauce and that is it, my friends. Put a lid on it or throw it in a bowl and mix it and you're done. All right, for this next meal, I'm using some frozen white quinoa, cucumber, some Kalamata olives. Now make sure if you get those, they are in water, not oil. I'm using some tomatoes, and then some garbanzo beans. I'm just using them from the can. Now these are no salt added in the can, so um, I recommend definitely getting no salt added if you're gonna do canned. And then I am using this fat and oil-free cedars hummus. If you can't find this in the store, um, I'll go ahead and link a very great and delicious hummus recipe on my blog for you in the description box. Then I'm just gonna throw everything in. Now I defrosted the quinoa already. I thought I was recording and I didn't. But um, once you defrost the quinoa, you can kinda just start, start throwing everything in there. The cucumber, the tomato, the garbanzo beans. I'm adding the hummus in there and then the olives. And oh man, this is such a good delicious dish that's probably the easiest to throw together. Mm. Am I the only one that can just, like, just loves tofu? I absolutely love it. Are you a tofu person? Put put in the comments if you love tofu or if you're more of like a seitan person or um, what else? What's that, a tempeh? Do you love tempeh? He loves poppy. Have you had poppy, by the way? This is no ad or anything, um, although I would love if they sent me sent me a whole bunch of poppy. But yeah, they're like 10, 15 calories for a whole can and they're good for your gut. It's apple cider vinegar drinks. This is strawberry lemonade, delicious. You would never know that you're drinking apple cider vinegar. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching today and I hope you enjoy these meals. I hope they make your plant-based life easier. That's. That's really why I'm here, um, to make things easier for you. If you're new, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And otherwise, I'll be seeing you guys next Monday. I hope you'll have a good week. Bye.